Hey, we have another integral on the board from the MIT integration B2019, problem number 20. We have the integral of cosine tan inverse x dx. Okay, so we really don't know how to integrate. You know, I did have a thought of using um, integration by parts, but let's actually try u substitution instead. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna call our u, this business, we're gonna call u our tan inverse of x. We can also write, then we can write our x as tan of u, and then integrating both sides, we're gonna have dx equals secant squared u du. Then we can make our substitution, so we're gonna have cosine of u, and then for our dx, we'll plug in secant squared u du, and that's nice because secant squared is just uh, one over cosine squared. Let's just write that real quick. Actually just rewrote one of our secants as 1 over cosine u, just to show clearly that we can cancel this out. And now we're just integrating secant of u du. But we know that, that it, we know what that is. That's a pretty common integral. That's going to be ln absolute value of secant u plus tan u. And we already know what tan u is because we define that to be x up here. So now we just need to find out what secant is. Usually we like to draw a triangle for this, but what we can actually do is take our x value and notice that x squared plus one is gonna be tan squared u plus one, which is just secant squared u. So then if we take a square root, a square root, a square root, we notice that secant of u is just gonna be square root of x squared plus one. So we can bring that and substitute that in here. So then for our answer, we're gonna have ln absolute value square root of x plus one plus x plus c. When we're done, you also might notice that this is actually the same value as uh, cinch, hyperbolic, hyperbolic um, inverse hyperbolic sine of x plus c. It's an alternate form of the answer. That was MIT Integration B2019, number 20. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.